Hello and welcome to this week's Saturday Evening Cocktail and Happy Mother's Day. This one, this one's for the mamas out there. Whether you're somebody's mother, whether you're a grandmother, whether you're one of those really cool aunts who takes care of everybody, wh wh whether you're just a good friend or anybody like that, ladies, this one's for you. It's, it, it's your world. We're just living in it. Thank you for taking care of us all. Um, you know, it's um, Sunday's uh, Mother's Day, of course, um, the day we remember. You remember brunch? We used to go out to brunch. Brunch, brunch was a good time. It, it was a little more than breakfast. It, it wasn't quite lunch, but, but you got a good meal. You got a little piece of melon at the end. That was nice. And, and you know, the, the, the brunch drinks. Um, so, of course, you think Mother's Day, you think like, like a Bloody Mary. Um, you know, my, my, my wife, uh, my wife doesn't, uh, doesn't drink, uh, doesn't drink Bloody Marys. Um, she doesn't like the tomato juice and, you know, Bloody Marys, frankly, my, I, I've never been able to top my friend Pete's Bloody Mary mix. Um, and you know, it, most Bloody Marys these days, I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant here. You know, they're just these Instagrammable things, you know, it's just about the garnishes. It's like a, a cheeseburger slider and onion rings and, and shrimp and, and a T-bone steak and, and a Pomeranian to take home. Um, and you know, you don't even know what the drink tastes like. So we're going to, we're going to do something different for mom, for, um, her, her brunch in bed. Um, instead of uh, bringing her up a Bloody Mary, we're going to do a, a tropical uh, gin fizz. Uh, I, again, something something that uh, I think my, uh, my wife would enjoy. And again, so for all, all the mothers out there, for uh, obviously for, for my wife who um, decided to become a, a mama, and of course, which without her wouldn't have made uh, me a dad, uh, for my mother and for um, all the great mothers out there, uh, and we're going to get started, and we're going to um, do this, and we're going to actually build it with a lot of flavors, almost like a mix, almost like you would think of a, a Bloody Mary, and we're going to kind of um, muddle it and um, have a nice uh, a nice drink together and see how we do with it. And we're going to start in the bigger part of the tin, and we're going to go with some basil is going into the tin. And I don't know, if I get the basil growing this year, you're going to see a lot of drinks with basil this summer. Um, and a nice handful of basil and uh, some cucumber is going in here as well. Uh, some lemon. I've got about a whole lemon. And we did this last week with the, uh, the whiskey smash. I've got some mint. We're going to put some mint in there. A little more cucumber. And I've got about a teaspoon of ginger that I grated upstairs. So there's a lot of nice, uh, nice flavors in there. I've got two teaspoons of Demerara sugar. And I've got... Um, six ounces of pineapple juice and I'm just gonna pour all that in here and we're gonna work this down and really just try and get all these flavors together and just break all this down get all the oils out of the lemon peel get the sugar built in there and uh, get all the oils and flavors out of the herbs as well uh, get some of the nice essence out of the cucumber and the cucumber skin and get the ginger infused into the pineapple as well. And oh, you can really smell all this just coming right out of the shaker right now. And we haven't even added the gin yet. All right. And it's starting to give way a little bit, so I think everything's just, just about as broken up as I'm gonna be able to get this. Oh, that's, that smells marvelous. All right, and so I'm gonna do this in sort of a one-to-one a -one ratio. So I've had, I had six ounces of pineapple juice, and I'm gonna do six ounces of gin. That was two in a little bit, two, four, and six. So this is Nika Coffee Gin. There's a lot of citrus notes in that one, that one. and I've got ice here in the other half of the shaker. And let's mix it all up. Really get it all blended together. Yeah, look at that. All right. Oh, that smells wonderful. And this one, we're going to want to double strain. And it's not a technique we employ because really by this point, we just want to get that cocktail into the glass. And... We just get this into our hurricane glasses, which are courtesy of my wonderful neighbors next door, who are technically my first sponsors here, provided us with these glasses that I mentioned we didn't have. Um, so thank you guys, really appreciate it. This one's for you. 
Uh, so we got about halfway up the glass, and again, we said a tropical gin fizz. So if we want to add the fizz, a little bit of soda water there. Put that right there, and now we need to garnish it. Got a basil leaf, got to put that there. And I got some candied pineapple, and again, it's Mother's Day. This is for Mama. Uh, so a little bit of candied pineapple and one of them little drink umbrellas. I'm going to put that right there. And a straw. Cheers. Happy Mother's Day. We love you. Thank you, everybody. I usually say call the people you love, but most importantly, call your mothers. Take care of each other. Cheers. Not bad.